Hi there, so adjustments allow you to make creative or corrective changes across your document. Now typical adjustments include HSL, which makes a, a color adjustment, or a, a curves adjustment, which makes kind of like a tonal adjustment. And other tonal adjustments include things like levels and brightness and contrast, etc. We'll look at two of those just now. So in this very colourful scene, what we'd like to do is to apply an HSL adjustment. And you can access the adjustments from the Layers panel. And I'll just show you that now. So from the Layers panel here, this button down, called Adjustments, just click on that. And you get a scrolling list of all of the adjustments that are available to you. Now, as I mentioned, HSL, as a colour adjustment, is available here. And if I just click on there, and we have a dialogue where we can adjust, first of all, the hue. And you'll see that affecting the whole document. Move that back again. And you can also boost the saturation to make the colours stronger. Or I can desaturate by taking it to the left. I'll just leave it to about there. At the moment, because I didn't have a layer selected initially, uh, that adjustment is added at the very top of the layer stack. And because of that, it's influencing and affecting every single layer underneath it. One important aspect of this adjustment and all adjustments is that they are stored as adjustment layers. And because it's stored as a layer, they're completely independent of all other objects and other layers. This allows them to be non-destructive, therefore I can switch them on and off. You can see that changing and back on again. And if I carry on editing my document in some ways, uh, moving things around and carrying on with my design, I can come back to that HSL adjustment, I'll just select it, switch it back on, double click in here, we get the dialog back up and you see it still remembered my settings from previously. So I'll just fine tune that back to say something less saturated, say 15. Just taking a second example, this Affinity Night scene, uh, I want to silhouette this character here. Now I've already mentioned that the HSL adjustment we applied previously was apply globally and because it sat at the top of the layer. Now we're going to do something slightly different and that's to select this group here, and that selected the character itself here. And what I want to do is to apply a different adjustment, not an HSL, but a brightness and contrast adjustment. Just select that now. And we'll see we get a different dialog. The dialogs incidentally, per adjustment layer, are very different to each other. So, if I choose one brightness contrast adjustment, get different settings, different settings for HSL as well, different settings for curves. So here, because I want to make it more of a silhouette, I want to drag that brightness right the way down. And you'll notice that the background is not being affected at all. Just bring that back up to show you. And that's because this adjustment, because the layer was selected, has been clipped to just that layer, just here. You can see that there. And that's happened automatically just because it was selected. Just to demonstrate that for you, because it's an adjustment layer and it sits on its own, it can be dragged just to the top. And you see it influence the whole document because it's affecting the layers below, for instance, layer eight, layer 14, layer 36 downwards. I can move it back the way down, and it's only influencing the layer, this group silhouette. If I then drag that into this position, you see it's actually affecting not only the silhouette shape, but also all the underlying background shapes as well. I'll just put that back to where it was.